Are you ready for this? Ta da! Welcome back to a new video. We are in the Netherlands, you guys. We are in Steenbergen, which is like Stony Hill, something like that. And uh, we are at the Albert Heijn. We just did a little food haul. If you want to go see that video, it's the other video that was before here. But now we are going to Dirksland, which I always thought was Zeeland, but it's actually south of Holland. But it's one of the little islands that make up Zeeland, but it's not Zeeland. I said that wrong the last time. It is south of Holland. We're going there because before I lived in a van, I had a beautiful horse. Her name is Sida. She's an Icelandic horse and I love her so much. And the only reason I gave her up is because I wanted to go live in a van. So I got a really nice new owner for her and she lives somewhere with one Shetland pony as a friend. We're gonna go visit her and I've missed her so much. I'm so excited to see her and there might be beautiful flower fields there. And it's beautiful weather, so let's go have a look around. We're here and we're gonna bring her a little apple. See that? Hey! Hey, see that? Be it soon! I see you good out. Come here for Buta. Hey, puppy. Come here for Buta. <laughs> oh, die take is toch ook altijd. Hey, puppy. Come here for Buta. She did respond to my voice, but I'm asking her, like, hey, are you gonna come? Oh, she's coming. She's coming. Hey, Moppy! Hello! Wolfie, your house up. Hello, Poppy Kids! Hi! So, I feel like I have to explain some things because this is a beautiful horse and she's looking a bit weird. <laughs> Hi! She's an Icelandic horse and Icelandic horses don't need that much. Uh, well, they do need nutrition, but they don't need that much sugar. The grass in the Netherlands is really sugar rich. So, even though she has not that much field, she and her little Shetland friend um, shouldn't be having that much sugar because it's not good for their body because she cannot process it. So, hey, she's um, wearing a, uh, hi, it's called a gras masker, this thing, which is making it harder for her to get to the, sh to the grass. So she c does eat, but she eats way less. But this does give her room to walk around and roam around and graze without getting too much nutrients inside her body. Then the other thing that she's wearing is to keep flies off of her eyes because sometimes, some days, you can have massive amounts of flies on the eyes and then the eyes get infected. And the other thing is that she's wearing the, the blanket is for, is for um, because the diet in the Netherlands is so different and we have little they are called knutte. They are like little flies that live in the trees and at dusk and dawn they come and they, they um, bite the horses. Some horses have zomer eczem, which is high, and she has this too. This is also the reason why I couldn't keep her and put her in a uh, field somewhere because she needs to be monitored daily, she needs to be taken care of, she needs to be put like this to have a comfortable life. But as you can see, this is itchy, her hair is itchy. So um, what I think hey, has happened is that either the 
the blanket has been put on a little bit late, which that's hard because having this horse with, hi, she's, you're going to see her later without all of this on because at the end of the day, her owner is coming, the new owner, who's a wonderful person who's been taking so much good care of her. I absolutely love that person. She's come in and she is going to take everything off and show her to me, of course. But now I'm not taking it off because she's going to go to a tree and like scratch her neck. But I can feel that some of her hair is gone. She has massive, beautiful manes. They're gone. But she's looking good. She's not. The last time I saw her, she was a little bit too thick because that's what happens with all this grass, this luscious grass. She's doing good, and I love that she remembered me. <laughs> this looks weird, but later today I'm going to show her in all her glory. I'm probably going to brush her and have some nice time with her. Oh, when I see her, I miss my horses. Oh, I know that she's doing good, and I can visit her all the time, so I'm happy about that. But these horses are just magical. Icelandic horses, all horses, but Icelandic horses are pure magic. Oh, she is such a magical horse. I'm just taking the dogs out for a little walk. And then I'm gonna have lunch because I'm hungry, actually. And I got all the nice things from the Netherlands. From the Albertine. But, um, oh, she's doing, she's looking good. And this is also the reason why I couldn't keep her because she needs daily care. She needs to be monitored for her eczema. She needs to be wearing a blanket with needs which needs to be put straight every day and she needs to be monitored how much sugar she's getting so she's not a horse that I could just put in a like a national park somewhere and have her monitor just weekly or something she would explode with eczema so she needs to be monitored and I was planning on traveling and I couldn't do that anymore so I sold her and she's so wonderful and i'm so happy that she responded to my voice i called her and she was like wait what that's so cute <laughs> and uh, yeah we're just gonna hang out on the spot that we parked at which is close by to her and then around five i think her owner's coming and um we'll have some fun with cw i will brush her i think I miss her a lot i love her so much we're back in the netherlands guys and i'm very happy to say that there's yellow flowers there's butterflies, there's grass, it's not that wet, it's actually super warm at the moment, it's like 21 degrees or 22 degrees, which is really warm for the Netherlands in spring. It's a really warm, nice day and it's gorgeous and I'm happy to say that it's all gorgeous and that it's good at the moment and because last year when I got back was the end of March and we had a really stormy, rainy, wet spring and I got back and I got like in this winter depression burnout mode because I was like I want to go back to Portugal now of course I also want to go back to Portugal I always want to go back to Portugal but I'm not disappointed with the beauty that's around us at the moment so I'm going to enjoy my crackers and my pate because oh well, I've missed that what I want to say is for the people that don't know a lot about horses is that Icelandic horses can have three, four or five gates. A lot of them have four gates. And this is actually a five-gated horse, which means she has just walk, trot and canter. Is that what the words are? Gallop. And then she also has tilt and telhang. I think that's called pace in English. And uh, so she can go five different gears, you guys. Isn't that cool? Oh, she's such a wonderful horse and I love that she looked up because the last time I saw her, I think is about a year ago, I went to see her. She didn't care. She had no, She didn't care about me. <laughs> I did ride her that time, but she didn't care. I was like, hey, see done. Like pouring my heart out. She was like, yo, what up? Who are you? But this time I was like, see done. She's like, wait, what? What's going on? What's happening? Oh, she's such a wonderful little girl. I love her so much. And um, sometimes I think like if I want to get a house, I keep saying like if I'm in Portugal, I would travel in summer and stay there in winter. And if I'm in Sweden or something like that, maybe Croatia, I don't even know, I would be there in summer and then I would leave in winter, travel in winter. But at the same time, I'm like, what if I buy a house in Sweden, a little tiny house with pasture and I'll just have two horses, then I won't be able to travel anymore. Or I need house sitters, but I've seen with Cindy that that's not easy. 
<laughs> yeah, but um, oh how I love horses, and I yeah, I do love Sita though. So yeah, she's such a cute little girl. Anyway, I'm gonna have some food, and I'll get back to you later when we can hang out with Sita. Wash her hair. She needs to be washed. Oh, she's going before I will. <laughs> She's such a wonderful horse. Oh, I love her so much. So my friend Kuni just left. Such a wonderful new owner for Sita. I'm so happy that she has this beautiful spot to live in and this beautiful friend Zigni to hang out with. And she's doing good. She's looking great. And uh, yeah, I told her, I said, I'm going to be back soon. I'm going to be back soon because I miss her. She's such a wonderful horse. Um, so now we're here and it's so windy, guys. I was hoping the wind would go away because I would like to fly the drone over the tulip fields, but there's so much wind. My drone will not cope with that. Um, so I'm going to put on my nice little shirt again because this is too warm, but I didn't want to get my shirt all hairy and stuff. <laughs> and then we're going to see and try and find some tulip fields to show to you guys because that's so beautiful. Looking around and the wind is throwing soot in the dinner. No. <laughs> That's a Dutch saying translated to English. Anyway, the wind is not going to stop until tomorrow, and tomorrow it's still going to be feisty. Anyway, Wolfie agrees. The wind is going to stay feisty, so the drone is not allowed, is not going to be able to fly. My poor little drone in Maloney. But. What we can do is go to fields. So what I when we drove here, we saw beautiful fields. So what I'm just going to do is drive the exact same way back. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we'll find some fields. We'll get out of the van and we'll take some good footage of the beautiful tulip fields. Because that's so cool. The tulip fields are so beautiful. Okay, I'm just, I, I'm just getting myself mentally ready because I'm kind of tired. <gasps> I really would like to get some footage of the tulips because that's so cool. So let's go. Are you ready for this? Ta da!
I'm so excited because that's so beautiful. And even though it's super windy, I just tossed the drone into the air. I was like, do your thing. And she was flying over the fields. And it was so beautiful. And I'm so proud of the footage that I just got. <laughs> and there's a lot of people here. But I was like, you know what? I don't freaking care. Let's just fly the freaking drone. Hop. Let's go in the air. And it was so cool. Oh, I'm so proud. And so I'm going to take the footage off of the phone i'm just gonna hang out here i'm on the side of a road i'm just gonna hang out here for a little second because i was super tired and now i'm all pumped up i'm all pumped up with adrenaline because it was so cool flying the drone over the field um that i just need to have a little bit of relaxing time because i'm probably going to dip in a second but i was like oh my god yes that drone over these fields is so awesome okay so um i calmed down <laughs> And I think we're not going to stay here in this area. It's like 50 minute drive, 45 minute drive back to my parents' house. And I'm tired and I would really like to take a bath tonight. So we are just going to head back to their place and then give them some souvenirs. And um, I'm going to have a shower and do some laundry. <laughs> I'll do laundry tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to Sutomir. So uh, let's head in the van and let's go back. So I had a wonderful shower. <laughs> no, I didn't have. I had a wonderful bath. I didn't even have a shower. I had a bath. So oh, I am all clean. See, I used a different shampoo than my own. Yeah, I should just be using the Terra Rustica shampoo. That's the best one. It was lovely. I feel all. <laughs> I feel all clean and like revitalized and I feel all awesome I'm so happy I had a nice bath um and I was just walking back here we are boondocking in the streets where my parents live and um so we are boondocking in the Netherlands but if the police would come by and check it out this vehicle is registered in this street so I don't think it will be any problem and if they would I don't know, knock on the door. I don't even know why they would do that. Just, I'm allowed to be in my vehicle in my street, I think. But uh, yeah, it was a wonderful day. I'm so proud of how cool the footage is of the tulips. I hope you enjoyed it. It was so much fun making those videos. And there were people asking me, like, can you take a picture of us? And I was going crazy, like, in, well, not in the field, because you're not allowed to go in the field, but, like, next to it, like, trying to get really cool footage or bit of, uh, photos for them so they can take them home and uh, I was just going there like a there's only one thing though I want to say about the tulip fields is I love the way it looks it is stunning it is beautiful but it is one of the most sprayed and polluted fields that are out there and to me for a leisure thing that's just flowers they're not edible, it's just for display. That's bonkers. So I love looking at them, but I don't really buy tulips. Maybe you can get like organic tulips, that'll be better. But these flowers are so destroying the environment that it's it's just not worth it. But I do like looking at them. So but because if you as you can see in the videos, there's no little bees or critters anywhere to be found in these flowers because as soon as any bee or anything comes close to it, I think they will collapse. Please keep that in mind when you buy tulips somewhere. Maybe get organic tulips or just don't get them. Because there's also, what I, like this is for all the flowers out there, I think. But for instance, in the Netherlands, you have a lot of um, Zelfplukttuinen, which are just like uh, gardens that you're allowed to go into. And then you just buy per kilo or grams of flowers the farm that i live that i work at all summer they have the same they make a field they fill it with flowers it's, it's so beautiful and then you can you're allowed to go in there and pick your own flowers that you like and take them home and they're all organic and it's all you know sustainable and that's way better than a field full of tulips but it does look really cool though and also if you go to a tulip field don't take your animals your dogs or your horses in there for one you're going to destroy tulips and that's not supposed to happen but for two 
the dogs step on the soil and they take that soil they 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 get the poison on their little paws and then if they lick it it goes into their system it's not good for them anyways yeah i'm gonna end the video on that note <laughs> i had a lot of fun today i'm super excited tomorrow we're gonna have a cleaning day wash the van look at the roof see how everything's doing up there and um clean all the sad dead bugs off of my windshield that I unfortunately killed on my travel that I could not save. I'm so sorry about that. But we need to clean them all off and we're going to give Sophie a nice scrub and give her some love and attention and wash all my stuff. It's going to be awesome. So I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, don't forget to say yes to Noob Avengers. <laughs> <laughs>